listening quest is hearing what you have to say. We want to know how tired you are, if you're in any pain, and how you are managing your daily activities. You'll be given a short booklet with simple questionnaires, asking you to report on your quality of life before and after your surgery and breast reconstruction. Let's now hear from some women talking about their experiences of returning to a full and active life after their breast reconstructions. The scar on my back is under my bra line. I had full movement in my arm and it, it, looks, it looks like a normal breast. I'm quite happy with the overall shape. Uh, my cleavage is perfect, which is, is the main thing that I see uh, and other people see. So I'm quite happy with that. I'd give that 10 out of 10. Because it's just a tissue reconstruction, it feels like a normal breast. I can buy clothes, I can go mail order, I don't have to worry whether things are going to fit. I, mean, I do the gym, I, go to gar I do my gardening and all the other things I used to do before, so. I swim, um, not as often as I used to, but that's nothing to do with that, it's just I got a bit lazier. I don't think anything's changed at all. I was told after the operation I wouldn't be able to do the, um, lift heavy objects, um, be careful when I'm doing the gardening. It's not a pain as such, I think it's just more of a back ache, and I think that's just due to the muscle being taken from there, which is just weak, and if you stand too much, it's just really an ache. It's not a pain. I get a little bit of pain and discomfort in, in the back sometimes, but very, really very little. These women were invited to a question and answer session with a surgeon to talk about their experiences and quality of life after their back flap breast reconstruction. These group sessions are not part of the Quest trial. Um, I'd like to ask, um, does the breast feel the same after a reconstruction? Yes, Gillian, that's a lot of women's concern. Obviously, when we spare the envelope of the breast, we expect a reduction in the sensation because of the way we are dissecting under the skin of the breast. Will I be able to keep my nipple, or will it, is it something that will go with the... I think, Caroline, in the majority of situations where we're recommending a mastectomy, in women, um, it would be safer not to preserve the nipple and areola complex because of the closeness of the tumour or perhaps the extent of microscopic cancer cells. Can I ask, would someone uh, expect to have normal arm function following this procedure? The latissimus muscle or the back flap that we use is obviously one of many muscles that served to lift the arm upwards and to the side. Having said that, other muscles are able to compensate. The procedure is certainly not a new one. It's been around for 20 or more years. What we would say is important is early arm physiotherapy and exercises, really within 48 hours of surgery. How long will it take to get back to normal day-to-day -day functions using your arm? Many of the women have had a lymph node dissection, so there can be some tightness under the arm. But really, we would expect that within a matter of weeks. After the surgery, how much pain would anyone would have? We accept that in any surgical procedure, patients have an individual response to pain. One of the key issues is to ensure that patients understand how to score their pain and to work collaboratively with the nursing staff to really ensure that their medication is conscientiously taken so that the pain is kept to the absolute minimum. With the back reconstruction, is there a time scale when you get over the effects of that? Or yes. is there any, are there any adverse effects? Whether it's a slightly lesser back dissection when we put an implant in, or a bigger back dissection when we're using the back flap tissue alone, that women are individual. So that's the first point to make. Knowing that, we know that it is important to warn women that the back may feel slightly tighter if we've taken a bigger island of skin. Therefore, early stretching of the back physiotherapy to try and loosen up all the tissues, it makes common sense. Keeping any discomfort under control to facilitate that process. Can the other breast be lifted? 
We understand when we do reconstruction surgery that we want to achieve so much at the time that we remove the cancer. But of course, like everything, women may change their, their body weight, the implant may age, or the breast, which is not implant reconstructed, may age differently. And therefore, it is absolutely acceptable and part and parcel to anticipate women may need a slight lift or reduction on the other side. And that's very much driven by the patient and her feelings about the reconstruction. Just to remind you, the Quest trial aims to find out whether there are any differences in women's quality of life following two types of breast reconstruction. You will be allocated to one of two groups, receiving either the larger back flap without an implant or a smaller back flap with an implant. If you're involved in Quest, you will be helping with the first groundbreaking trial in breast reconstruction, which will involve many hospitals throughout the UK. Other women have reported very positively about their experiences of participating in a clinical trial. We hope that you will feel the same way. Quest's aim is to improve the quality of life of everyone undergoing a breast reconstruction.